Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna go farther yeah, back. Yeah. No, no, no. Let, let's play tennis, dude. You're gonna block it right after. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh! Shit! What? <laughs> hey, but that's pretty sweet. What's up everyone, thanks for checking out this video. In this episode, we're going to be experimenting with how many times can we actually bounce back a projectile, you know, back and forth with another player. It doesn't really matter if it's a teammate or an enemy, let's just find out how many times we can actually bounce it back and forth. I know probably certain projectiles are going to have different effects, but yeah, let's get into this everybody. If you want to see more episodes, be sure to check the description. The series playlist is in the description. And if you also enjoy this episode, uh, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could show a little bit of support by, you know, leaving a like or hey, maybe even sharing this. I don't know. But yeah, uh, this first one we're going to be starting out with is the bolt caster shot. Let's see how many times we can actually bounce this back and forth. But let's start this off with just testing around a little bit and getting used to this experiment. So I'm going to be cutting it until we get full heavy ammo every time and just seeing how you know each run goes because you know they're obviously going to need a good amount of heavy ammo to reflect these projectiles back and forth a lot so yeah let's just get into a few practice runs at first until they're used to it i'm ready i'm ready oh what oh, maybe i gotta on the way. maybe i gotta aim up more all right do it again okay Dang. oh shit okay okay it does matter where you aim my bad I'm gonna aim at your head. Heavy ammo available. What? Okay, aim it up a little bit. Oh, <laughs> dude, this is crazy. <laughs> One, two. Oh. Oh, oops. I aimed too. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got five. Oh, why did it end? We gotta get a little closer, guys. It's gotta you get more intense. Alright, right, right, right. One, two, three. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Try again, try again. Yeah, I need heavy. I need heavy ammo. Okay, so as you guys just saw, they got some practice runs in. They're used to it than just going in, you know, doing this blindly. So, let's see how it goes now since, you know, they got a few tests in. Let's make the goal. Can we actually reflect back and forth, play tennis with the bowl caster shots, uh, ten times? Can we make it back and forth ten times? That'll be crazy nice. to see. Let's find out. Yeah. Okay, here I'm we ready. go. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't even know how many right there. What the heck? <laughs> no, that was cool. <laughs> that was sweet. That was awesome, though. Okay, so while I was editing this together, you know, I had a close look at this in slow mode each hit, and I found out that it only hit nine times, and after the ninth reflection, it exploded. But I'm sure we can hit more. The reason why it ended up exploding on impact is because his heavy ammo was running low. So if he has more heavy ammo, we can make this last until heavy ammo runs out. That is, of course, if we can keep reflecting it at the right angle and not, you know, way up or just straight down. But that is, of course, if we are reflecting it at the right angle. We don't want to reflect it way high up in the air or reflect it straight down because, of course, that's just going to make the bolt caster shot explode. So, yeah, let's give this another try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, oh, what the shit. heck, dude? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That broke my sword. What the heck? All right. Well, I mean, as you guys saw, that was a lot of reflections, but some of you might be a little confused oh, on what the exact oh. reflection number was. I had to actually do a slow-mo count to find out myself. I was confused during the actual live gameplay. But, as you guys can see, there were 17 reflections back and forth until the 18th one exploded on impact, so that one doesn't count. He wasn't able to reflect the 18th shot back. But we are able to get more than 17 reflections back and forth. Doesn't matter if you're doing it against an ally or an enemy. The reason why they stopped at 17 was because they didn't have max heavy ammo. As you guys may now know, in case you guys didn't, you are able to reflect back and forth as many times as you want until your heavy ammo runs out, that is. Oh man, I mean, could you guys imagine like three players on each side reflecting back and forth like a game of tennis? Or maybe two players on each side? Or hey, maybe even freaking, you know, a 6v6. Six on each side, that would be a crazy tennis match, and I'd actually like to see that. But anyways, let's get into a little bit more experiments with this, not just with the bowlcaster shot. So let's see if we can get higher than 17 reflections. And also let's see if, you know, which ones are difficult to reflect back and forth, and which ones are not. 
Up next, we'll try out the rockets, and then we'll try out some grenades, and so on and so forth. We'll just do a bunch of different experiments reflecting different projectiles back and forth. And we'll find out which ones are tougher to reflect back and forth, and which ones we're able to, you know, reflect back and forth easily and get a high reflection count. But, yeah, let's get into these experiments, starting with the rocket. Okay, you ready? All right, here we go. Yes. Ah, three. All right, so as you saw, we got three. I'm gonna make these other experiments go a little faster just because I don't want this video stretching on too long. Then you guys be like, dude, you made this 10 minutes? Really, Rifle? I see what you did there. Disliking this, go screw yourself. So yeah, let's make these other experiments swift and just get straight to the point. We're just giving our first impression really on reflecting different projectiles back and forth. And you guys get to see how, you know, the reflection action goes. All right, here we go. I'm gonna throw tons of grenades. You guys ready? Let's see if this works. Yeah, here we go. Okay, you're gonna have to get closer. Here we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, oh, great. what the heck? What's going on here? Alright, I don't even know how many times no. that just bounced back and forth. Stop blocking, it's wasting your shit. Alright, so as you guys just saw, the grenade did great with reflecting back and forth. They just had to end up getting closer so the grenade, you know, would stay on track. But yeah, it would have kept going until, you know, the guy that took the first hit with the projectile ended up running out of heavy ammo. So, I don't know exactly what the total number is, but it's probably not too far off 31 reflections. Now keep in mind, you're not able to reflect, say like a Nova Bomb this much back and forth, of course. It's going to take more of your heavy away with each reflect on something like that, like a Super, a Bolt Gas, and I'm actually pretty sure even a Rocket. Of course, they're going to take more heavy away with each reflect, so yeah, definitely keep that in mind with this whole bouncing back and forth scenario. Alright, so anyways, let's get into a few more experiments. Next, let's try out the tether. In three, two, one, here we go. Okay, so as you saw, the guy who started off the reflection was able to reflect the tether uh, back twice, and the third hit seemed to have detonated on him. Let's see what happens with the Nova Bomb. And it looks like he was able to reflect two Nova Bombs, and the third one ended up exploding on him. So, four reflections in total, and for the fifth one, it ended up exploding on the person. It seems like it's the same scenario as the tether. Now let's go ahead and test this with some hammers. Let's see what happens with that. Okay, so for the hammers, it looks like, once again, it is the same scenario, so it seems like it's pretty much the same results with all supers, except, of course, maybe the Titan Smash. I know you can't reflect that back. Trust me, I've tested it. Anyways, as you saw in the test, uh, in the beginning, we kind of failed, so that just counted as one hit, pretty much, towards his sword, so that took a little bit of heavy away. And then he was able to reflect one more back, and then, as you can see, the next one ended up breaking his sword. And both of these players started with Max Heavy. But yeah, to finish up this video, I guess I'll do a finale with the Sleeper Simulate. Let's see how this goes with reflecting. Uh, three, two, three. Holy shit! Holy shit! That was a lot. I got it. I gotta go for lunch, guys. I'll be back. Alrighty, so as you saw, the sleeper didn't do that well with reflecting back and forth. It definitely has a powerful shot, but it can be reflected back. But you're just not going to be able to reflect it back and forth a lot, so you definitely wouldn't be able to play a tennis match with that. Um, you would be able to play a tennis match, though, if you want to try a custom game like this with some of your buddies just for some shits and giggles. You would probably be able to do it best with a grenade or the bolt caster shots. Those seem to work the best with reflecting projectiles the most. But, yeah, so you're able to reflect projectiles back and forth with someone else until, you know, one of your guys' heavy run out, of course. I'm out of here, though. If you ended up enjoying this episode, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of your time and leave some support by leaving a like. It's greatly appreciated. But, anyways, hope you guys ended up enjoying this episode and you decide to stick around with this series. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching and listening. Peace out.